So as expected, uh, the plasma torch doesn't care how hard something is. No problem. Did a nice little little hole there with that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch gears here a little bit. I want to I want to use. The, there's not a lot of force being put on this, so if I have a pretty thin, not not a lot of material left in the backside, I think that that's going to be okay. So what I'm going to do is is I want to, since this saw blade is a little bit smaller than the, what would customarily be on here, I want to make sure, I'll go through there like that, make sure we utilize as much of it as possible. And I don't want to, I don't want to lose that, that inch and a half right there. So we'll re-drill this. We can kind of set this at the angle that we want. And by, I did like the previous angle. So if we just kind of match that up, you know, somewhere around there, that would be just fine, just like that. So, I'll I'll show you how the plasma torch works here in a little bit. But we'll we'll lay out this hole, say right here, and then we'll drill a new hole in the handle, and then we'll match it up, and then drill through the blade. All right, so we can re-drill our handle now. We're just going through aluminum and wood, so this should be go pretty fast. Yeah, this is going to work good. This, we're going to have a $350 silky pole saw for under $100. I like that. Okay, so we'll just set this angle. A little bit more. Yeah, I like that. And we'll take our scratcher and I'll just scratch a little circle there. Then I can transfer that mark with my Sharpie. It's going to be important we get this really precise. So a plasma torch is just this, what you're looking at. What it does, I don't know the exact science, but it seems to me that it just basically just atomizes metal. It runs off of electricity and compressed air, so there isn't, you don't have any consumables like oxygen, acetylene, propane that you have to constantly refill. It's a really great way to cut material. This is uh, uh, on the smaller side, it's a, it's a professional machine, but it's, it, it, it's it'll, I've cut up to, well, I've cut five eighths with, well, not five eighths. Yeah, I have cut five, five sixteenths, about five sixteenths with it, no problem. Uh, but that's what we use today for punching our little hole. So just like a welder, the plasma torch requires a, a, just a standard ground. And when I'm working with these saw blades like this that have, you know, that are really sharp, we don't want to lay them on a metal bench, never want to do that. So I'll try to always work on it on a block of wood. And then here's our ground. And then the stinger, or the head for the plasma torch, is right here. What it looks like, it's got a kind of a safety switch on it. You pull it back and press down, and that will start a little tiny blue arc that will just cut through anything. And as you press, press on this, it activates it here, and you'll see in a minute. So you can see here, it makes a very precise little hole, just no effort. It's not super clean, but that's okay. Well, I'll just uh, be real conservative and we'll do a small hole in there, and then we'll take the carbide die grinder and that will clean that out just until we can get the bolt in. But let's cut a little bit more out. So our bolt is not going to fit through there. It's a little bit jagged. This one here fits nice and tight enough. So we'll take, uh, once we have a hole established, the die grinder shouldn't have any trouble uh, just rounding that out a little bit.
So be really careful and keep that tight. We don't want that wobbling around in there, wasting energy. And that's fine. It's, it, it's really tight. It threads in there, so that should be just, just perfect. So this is going to be a one lean, mean cut machine here. A nice, super thin samurai style blade and tiny kerf. They're just vicious little saws. All right, I think I like that. So we can, we've got safety nuts on here, or nylock, aviation style with the nylon fasteners on there. I, maybe I'm wrong about that. I always say that the, I thought that they were aviation. Maybe I was told that once and I've just always believed it. I think I've had, I don't know, maybe some guys that are actually subscribed that are aviation mechanics that have said that maybe they weren't. I don't remember. Let me know in the comments on that. Do you use those for aviation or, or do you use something different or do you use, is everything wired? I don't know. That's not going to work, is it? No, on the wrong side here. I always thought it'd be cool to be an airplane mechanic or work on helicopters. Something I should have done when I had the chance when I was younger. Just maybe not, I don't know if I would have made a career out of it, but it would have been uh, Pretty fascinating knowledge. So that's it. Uh, that is a, a great fix. I took it out and just cut a about a four inch limb uh, just outside the shop here to try it out and, and it's wonderful. This is a really a great solution for uh, uh, the way to get a silky pole saw for a fraction of the money. Uh, I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not going to, I'm not exaggerating when I say that I went and just cut with that compared to this one right here, which looks pretty old, but it's really not. It's just got a little sap on it. Uh, this was, I bet I could cut it with half the effort, maybe 40% of the effort that it took for this big one. Uh, this has a pretty heavy kerf on it. It doesn't have the really super double, double cutting sophisticated teeth. Um, no comparison, absolutely no comparison. And the, the other nice thing is, is the blade hasn't been ruined or hasn't been altered to the point where I can't use it for its intended use at, with the, the big boy saw. It will still work just fine for that. So now I've got, I've got one of each and I've got one blade I can order or keep, on, keep in, the, in the shop uh, for both little fit both saws. So I am excited to go try it. I know it's going to work great. Love the silky saws. Just, just love them. So I was thinking, uh, I'm getting ready to head down into the, uh, into the forest. There's a, a spot that Mrs. Wrangler Star and I are burning and clearing. And I think we'll, we'll bring you along and um, I think you'll enjoy it. It's a real dense portion of the forest and um, call us crazy, but it's one of our favorite things to do is to go down there and work together and work in the forest clearing the brush. It's just so straightforward and so relaxing and you get to have a fire. And last night we had a nice big slash pile and uh, I re went up and grabbed uh, some hot dogs and we sat there in our chairs and, and really enjoyed that. So I'll bring you along today. Uh, that'll be the next part. And um, just c come and join us. I think you'll enjoy it. So we'll see you guys on the next video. I'm looking forward to taking that pole saw down to the forest and see how it really works. I'll bring you guys along and let you know how that turns out. But in the meantime, I have got a very special video for you. It's how to build a very innovative firewood holder that will change your life. Do you heat with firewood? 
Well, this will make your life a lot easier. Uh, it's not my invention, it's just something that, uh, uh, that uh, I have seen made. I think it was a Swedish invention, and I kind of adapted my own to fit in a quick release on the back of my wood splitter, and I think you're going to love it. So you can click on that and uh, watch that video. For those of you who guys who use mobile, watch the videos and haven't been able to use the annotations, if you look in the top right, you'll see a small little white circle with, an X, with a, well, some type of a little thing inside of it. Click on that. Those are the new card systems. You can now click the annotations. That'll take you directly to the video. So when you see that in the top right, that means that there's a hidden message or some sort of a message from the creator, um, additional info for you to see. So you can click on that. So we'll, oh, don't forget to click the thumbs up if you enjoyed these type of videos, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.